questions. You regularly encourage fruits, berries, and melons. Are there any particular fruits and particular types of berries and melons you'd recommend? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I think I think really what going into seasons and getting whatever you can get as close as the country around you or state around you, as close as you can, you know, you try to eat in season. Um, I'm still eating California uh, navel oranges. I'm so happy. Um, I'm not getting any good watermelon in Florida, but some of you guys out there are. I heard that India was it has some a dang good watermelon right now. I know they got good mangoes out. I know our mango season is here. And I'm going to show you some big mangoes when I get back from Texas. And I should have some big mangoes. I mean, really big mangoes. But I love them all. And I think it's just you get whatever you can, whatever's ripe as possible, whatever's in season, and you enjoy it. And listen to your intuitives. What does your body want? What does your body like a lot? Which one? You know, just follow that. Follow that. Because uh, I think oranges are high on the list. I, I, so did Professor Hotima. That's why I have his books there. Because these guys were real fruititarian thinkers. They were way out there. And Raymond Bernard, they, they were into the immaculate conceptions and all that kind of stuff too. Because getting high on a fruititarian lifestyle, even temporarily, while you're getting your body fixed up with that, will take you way out there in energy and in understanding. It'll start breaking down the doors of ignorance. And it's just it's just hard to describe. It's so worth the while to work yourself up into these levels. It doesn't matter whether you maintain them or not. It's that you touch it and that you're able to get the body to the point to touch it. That way you have a good body for the rest of your life while you're on the planet. And, and it opens the consciousness. And I just have to tell you, if you can get there, it doesn't matter how you balance out, because once you get it, keep it. Watch that mind. That mind will always try to take you out of the now. It will always go, but, what if, all those things. If you play in that world, you'll always be full of fear. You don't know what to do. Am I feeding my baby the right foods, even though the foods I'm eating are rebuilding me and making me healthy? What should I feed my baby? That sort of thing. What's good for the goose? Good for the gander, right? Right. But that's how they that's how powerful the medical profession's influence is on you. Unbelievable. And that's 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 not a health related field. They use the word a lot, but it's not a health related field. Ours is the nutritional health related field, if we can use the word nutrition. I had done a water fast for 22 days. Holy crap, that was incredible. 22-day water fast. Sam, you butt-kicking guy, you. I terminated my fast on the 22nd day because of a lot of irritation in the gums, which led to bleeding of the gums. Yeah, I mean, you're going to feel crap coming out of the gums, off the tongue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You get mucus out of the head that's got blood in it, mucus out of the lungs that's got blood in it. Why is that? Because it's acidic and you're breaking down the capillaries in your sinuses and in your lungs. Absolutely. I mean, this is a real big deal. I mean, look at the mutation of the human body that a high acid body does. Unbelievable. When you have things start to twist and turn you and put you into another form, you're literally being chewed by acids. Is it that difficult to understand that in the medical field that spends 10 years of going to school sometimes? Or is this uh, this uh, 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 osteopathic endocrinologist told me 15 years? Why the hell would you spend all your life going to school and you can't cure nothing? I'd be frustrated as heck. And of course, in five days... Five days, we can teach you how to cure anything. Five days. Matter of fact, give me a day. <laughs> I mean, that's how stupid things are here. Yeah. He's on a complete fruit diet. After breaking my fast, I can't on a complete Well, you're kicking butt, Sam. And it has been six weeks. But in all this period, my teeth have been extremely sensitive. Well, use, use um your bicarbonate. Use your baking soda, aluminum free, and wash your mouth out. Get you some pH strips and make sure your mouth is, is, is maintaining alkalinity. Because you can be very acidic in here and then sometimes the acids on the fruits can, can you know, irritate that even more. Make sure your saliva and mouth is, is alkaline. And if it's not, use a little baking soda, wash your mouth out, hold it in, let it absorb a little bit, and keep that doing that and pull that soreness out of there. 
Uh, actually, he said that in certain parts of my front two teeth are less white than other parts, such that you could almost see right through. Them. Wow. So what I would do, uh, I would look at my uh, parathyroid gland. You might want to add a green drink in there just to put some more chemistry in the body, more minerals there to bring things up. But I'd be take a good look at my parathyroid. Your mouth sounds like it's way too acidic, so you're losing calcium out of the out of the teeth and stuff. So you want to make sure that you're utilizing calcium out of your foods. Number one, make sure your mouth saliva stays base or alkaline, even if you're eating oranges or something like that. Even if though the chemistry ends up base, you still want to keep that base in the mouth. Uh, put yourself on a, a long extended red grape fast and it'll make that mouth very alkaline and then all that calcium will come back in and heal up again.